Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this Apple Pay requires an update on this iPhone air message that you get. As you can see, your iPhone cannot, cannot use Apple Pay until it is updated. And in this video, we're going to walk you guys through the way to fix this issue. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market to buy one of the newer iPhones, make sure you guys check out the link in the description that it, we have some of the link to the discounted iPhones that we did some unboxing that you guys want to check out. So let's go ahead and get started with the fix for you guys today. So if you see this, if your phone or your iPad cannot use Apple Pay until it is updated, you won't be able to use Apple Pay or your wallet for payment or access until the update for the iOS or iPad OS on your device has been done and your wallet passes might not be a not be available while payments are unavailable. So you can't make any purchases or do anything without this update. But luckily we have some solution for you guys that you can follow. The first thing you want to do whenever you see this kind of update is hit OK and then go ahead and restart the phone. To restart an iPhone 10 or above, you're going to simply hold the side button here that's known as the vol. You can say a power button and then the volume up button here. Once you hold them together, hold them simultaneously until you see the slide to power off. You're going to slide it up, give it a 30 seconds to a minute and then go ahead and hold the side button or the power button here till it powers on and that will restart the phone. The next thing you want to do is actually go into your settings to make sure your settings for wallet has not been changed. Once you go into settings, you're going to want to locate your wallet and Apple Pay. Click on there and make sure it's on here. As you can see, we don't have any cards or anything available, but you want to make sure your card is there and everything looks good and if that looks good now it's time to move on to the next step of troubleshooting which is actually updating the phone and to do that update you're going to go into settings and once you're in settings you're going to go to general and once you're in general you're going to go to software update and once you click on here you'll see either there's an update available or there might not be update available if there is an update available you're going to hit download and install and make sure you're connected to or Wi-Fi source that's strong and connected to a power source by your charging cable and hit that download and install and let it update to it. And if you still have that issue, still seeing that error or you can't, you don't see any update available, you're going to have to reinstall the OS on it. And to do that, we, we're going to show you guys how to do that. Simply to do that, it's a troubleshooting method you're going to follow is simply you're going to get iTunes. As you can see in our MacBook here, we have iTunes already downloaded and opened up. But if you have a PC or a MacBook, you might not have iTunes. Simply to get iTunes, you're going to Google download iTunes and then download it and make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed. And if you have the iTunes installed, oh, go ahead and open it up. And then what you want to do is go ahead and find yourself a good cable. As you can see here, we have a cable here. Make sure the cable is Apple cable or a cable that has data sync because some of the third parties might not have a data sync. So you might not be able to do that. And once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and connect the phone here and make sure you have it connected to your PC or your MacBook. And once here to activate the phone, to so set it up new or to do it for the first time and to do that it's pretty straightforward you get sort of this message that comes up and to do that you're going to want to go to recovery mode so you go into recovery mode of this phone it's pretty straightforward you're going to go ahead and hold and release the volume up and then hold and release the volume down and then hold this side button that we have here until the phone goes into a uh, recovery mode. You might also see like a trust this MacBook or on the computer if you want to trust, make sure you click on trust as well. That's really important to do. Other thing you want to make sure before you do all of that is your phone is backed up and to check if your phone is backed up for using iTunes, you're probably backed up, but you want to make sure you're signed in and that's backed up as well. It's really important because when you do a reinstall of the iOS or iPad 
OS, you know, you want to make sure your data is backed up. Although this will not delete all of you, any of your data uh, if you already have it backed up. So to do that, we're going to show you guys how to get into recovery mode. We're going to hold and release the volume up and then the volume down and then the side button here. And you can see that slide to power off. You're not going to do anything. Don't slide to power off till the foam goes. As you can see, the screen went black and then now we're going to wait till we see the Apple logo. Keep on holding that side button. As you can see on my finger, I'm holding the side button here. It's just going to keep on holding it till I see that restore symbol come up. This is the icon you want to see. And as you can see here, it has this update feature now available. And if you see that, that means you're good to go and hit that update button. And then once you hit that update button, I the latest version of the iOS, it's going to download on your Mac or your PC. And it down, once it downloads, it's going to go ahead and update the phone for you. But, and it will take some time. So the update takes some, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, because the updates are about almost five, four or five gigs or so, it could take somewhere between 10, 15, 20, even half an hour to an hour, depending on your internet connection. So you do have to be patient. Make sure the laptop has charged. Make sure your phone cable doesn't move or get disconnected during it because you'll have to redo it if it does or if your laptop dies. And once you do that, hopefully that will resolve the issue. And if that does not resolve the issue, well, most likely there could be a hardware issue. In that case, you're going to have to take it to an authorized Apple service provider to their Genius Bar or Apple Store where they can take a look at this device thoroughly and give you guys a better diagnostic of it. Hopefully this video is helpful resolving that issue and you found it helpful for you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.